And now we're going to look at the gastrocnemius muscle. This occurs in the calf. Gastrocnemius means stomach of the leg. It actually runs across two joints. It runs across the knee and it runs across the ankle. At the proximal end, there are two strong tendons which separate and they join into the back of the femur, which is the long bone of the thigh. Then the two parts of the muscle come down, they join together and they form this, which everybody knows, this shape in the back of the calf. The muscle then runs into the Achilles tendon, which is the biggest and strongest tendon in the body. The gastrocnemius acts primarily as a power muscle. And when it contracts, what it does is it will propel your foot forward. During normal walking, the gastrocnemius actually doesn't add a lot to your normal simple quiet gait but the moment you leap forward run jump it becomes utterly vital and helps to propel you forward trigger points will be set off in this muscle if you climb a hill if you go for a run that's unaccustomed especially running through soft sand if you wear high heel shoes and if you rest your foot on a footrest where there's pressure on your calf, that'll often set off triggers in this muscle. There are four trigger points in the gastrocnemius. The first and the most important and the commonest occurs here, which is, you can see on the lower part of the medial belly of the gastrocnemius. And this will refer pain down on the inside of your ankle into your heel and on the inside of your foot the three other trigger points which occur higher up on the medial side lower down on the lateral and higher up on the lateral side will cause pain locally so you will feel pain in this area where the trigger points occur so you can see the two patterns are completely different if you found this video useful and want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe below and don't forget to hit the notification bell.